let us start with module 2 FET and SCR FET is a field effect transistor it is an, another type of semiconductor device like BJT where it can be used as an amplifier and also as a switch now let us see some similarities and differences between BJT and FET BJT is bipolar junction transistor where FET is a field effect transistor here BJT got three terminals even FET has got three terminals and the terminals of BJT are emitter base and collector and the terminals of FET are gate drain and source and the current conduction BJT is is a current control device whereas an FET is a voltage control device and the current contribution or the current in BJT is mainly due to major minority charge carriers and majority charge carriers both the currents that's why it is called bipolar here and the current due to the current contribution in FET is due to either majority charge carriers or, or minority charge the symbol for BJT it has got it has got three terminals emitter base and collector here for FET you, we have drain gate and source now FET uh, is classified into JFET and MOSFET. JFET is junction field effect transistor whereas MOSFET is called as metal ox oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and F JFET is again of two types N channel JFET and P channel JFET. MOSFET is classified as two types enhancement enhancement type MOSFET and depletion type MOSFET. In enhancement type enhancement type MOSFET you have N channel MOSFET and P channel MOSFET in depletion type uh, MOSFET you have N channel uh, depletion MOSFET and P channel depletion MOSFET now let us see what is an N channel MOSFET why it is called N channel JFET here if you see the structure of uh, JFET here you have a, a N type mate, N type material and for this N type material P2 P type materials are subst two P type substrate, uh, substrates are connected on the either sides of the N channel and there are three terminals the channel the top uppermost terminal and three terminals are connected the uppermost terminals is called drain and the lowermost terminal is called source and the two p substrate connected to e to each other and to form a gate and the symbol for f it is drain gate and source the current direction will be in the diaphragm gate now let us see the connections of this one now drain is connected that voltage will let us connect the voltages drain and source are connected and here connected and this is nothing but called VDS and gate will connect another voltage gate and source are connected and this voltage is called VGS so the voltage between drain and source is called VDS and the voltage between gate and source is called VGS for N channel for N channel MOSFET VDS uh, VDS should be positive and VGS should be in we will consider in two cases first case is VGS is equal to zero and the second case VGS is less than zero that is nothing but negative negative voltage now let us consider the first case where VDS is taken as a positive voltage and VGS is taken as zero so VGS you connect to a positive voltage so v d is connected to positive and a source is connected to negative and vgs will take a zero therefore g and source they are connected to ground they are connected to ground now if you observe here the electrons are majority charge carriers here and these p type material have because of depletion uh, dif uh, because of uh, diffusion there will be a two depletion layer formed here now since here electrons are the majority charge carriers and these electrons are negatively charged are connected to the positive terminal of vds therefore these electrons 
get attracted towards the positive term of the battery and flow in this direction and there will be a current flowing here that in the drain drain terminal that current is called id and also current flowing in the source that is called is now since the uh, here the the voltage connected vds acts as a reverse voltage since the n type here n type since n type is connected to positive and p type is connected to negative therefore here it is a uh, reverse biased and since as we increase the vds the depletion layer here increases and it is more concentrated here because it gets attracted towards the positive end of the battery at some point of the voltage here this both the depletion layers come close to touch with each other and this point is called pinch off condition and the voltage at, at and the voltage of vds at which this pinch off occurs is called pinch off voltage therefore let us uh, redraw the characteristics let us take this is vds and this is current id therefore as we increase the vds the current increases the current will be flowing through here will be increasing it will increase at voltage equal to pinch off voltage the current further will not increase it will stop the current from here source to drain will not flow it will stop and it will be it will remain constant and the voltage at which here this occurs is called pinch off voltage and the current at a maximum current is called ids maximum current is called ids and here and here the current is flowing from source to drain in ch n channel that's why it is called n channel jfet now let us see the second case where vds is positive and vgs is negative v now second case which is nothing but vds is positive again we'll connect to the positive terminal of the battery and in vgs will connect to the negative negative terminal of the battery therefore here g is connected to negative here and this is connected to ground now if you see here already this drain is connect drain and this one is connected in and this g whatever is gate is there is connected to the negative and that is nothing but p is connected to the positive p type is connected to negative terminal battery and n type is connected to the positive in the battery therefore here this further increases the depletion layer more quick than the, therefore you have here two reverse voltages one is because of the vds and one is because of the vgs therefore here the voltage at where this depletion layer this depletion layer touch each other will be at lower level than vds here at lower levels of vds therefore for vg let us take for vgs equal to minus 1 therefore here for lower levels only it will reach the saturation level after when this touches when it reaches the pinch off voltage no further current flows therefore it will be saturation voltage suppose if we have the more vgs this if we increase more reverse voltage the more will be the depletion layer and therefore will and here this region where the current is here linearly increasing is called ohmic region and the region where the current is constant is nothing but saturation region and the region where the fet will not conduct is nothing but cut off region and the current and the current flowing through the current id drain current id is given by ids into 1 minus vgs by vp whole square if you see if you observe here vds vd is a constant id is constant ids is constant also vp is constant as we increase vgs there will be a change in the drain current now if you take a case where vgs is equal to vp then I, this 1 minus v, vp by vp because both are same 1 minus 1 0 therefore it will here 1 minus 
VGS is equal to VP. Therefore, IDS is equal to 0. And this characteristics, whatever dra word dra VDS versus ID is called drain characteristics of N-channel JFET.